What's going on y'all? This is Czar. Uh, I want to show you three ways that you can track out from machine into Studio One. Uh, so if you've been following my videos and you've seen my Akai MPC Element review, uh, shortly after that video I decided to return it and I purchased a Machine Micro. Uh, I want to give a shout out to D. Lyles and Derek Motes because they've really been helping me uh, learn the Micro, or learn the machine. Uh, Derek Motes has a machine and D. Lyles has a machine studio. I uh, haven't had a chance to really dive into it the way I've wanted to, but I'm learning day by day. And uh, let's sit here, I'm going to show you three different ways to, to track your track out. Uh, so, and you know, tracking out is getting each individual sound um, on its own separate track in your DAW. So, I've got a track here that I made in Machine. I've got it open in Studio One. I'm going to play a little bit of it for you. Okay, so just a simple melody over a drum loop I made. Uh, so uh, the first way, uh, which I feel is the easiest way, um, is to solo each sound and then drag that into Studio One. Uh, so if you look here in this bottom corner, you've got uh, this first one exports uh, a MIDI loop of your track, and the second one exports a WAV file, uh, and that's the one we're going to use. So I'm going to... Uh, so here's my hi hat. I'm just going to solo it and click and hold this, let it process, and then you just drag it into Studio One. And you just repeat this for each sound. So that's one way to do it. You just, like I, said, I think that's the easiest and quickest way to just solo the sound and um, and use the export and drag it in that way. Okay, the second way is to uh, route your sounds or tracks out of machine uh, into Studio One tracks and then record them in real time. And uh, the way you do that is uh, if you look at the mixer. Here where you have group, uh, you want to uh, set these. If you click, uh, you see we've got 16 external outs that you can use. Uh, so each group has uh, 16 external outs to go along with the 16 pads that you have. And you'd want to set uh, each one of those pads with each individual external out. Uh, actually, I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. The first thing you want to do before we even do that is to come down in the mixer under instruments. So I've got machine two here. And uh, if you open that up, you see you've got the 16 outs here. So we're just going to select each one of these outs. And this way, when we create uh, tracks for them, uh, we'll be able to arm them. Uh, if you do this and you can't arm your track, it's probably because you haven't selected these outs. Uh, so back to machine. Now, uh, Let's see, external one, external two. You can do this all the way down to 16. Uh, the quickest way to me, though, is to actually do this from uh, the machine hardware. So uh, you'd hit your pad, hit control, and then hold down the nav. And you see you have in, out, groove, and macro. You want to select your output, which is the second one. And under output, you say it's already set to audio, uh, and that's where you want it. So we let go of nav and you see I've got uh, destination external one second pad external two so from here I'm just gonna hit the pad and change it with the knob to the uh, external output that I want
Okay, so I've got everything routed now, uh, 1 through 16. So now we'd go into Studio 1, and we're going to create 16 tracks. Uh, format, stereo, type, audio. And the input, you click on input, you see we've got instruments. And we're gonna, just going to select uh, the first one, out 1. And then uh, make sure you s select ascending, so it's going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So there's our 16 tracks, and from here, I'm just going to select these and arm them to record. Uh, hit record, and uh, each track will go on its own. Um, each sound will go on its own track. Now, I don't have 16 sounds in this, as you can see, but I'm uh, just doing this for an example, so it's going to be a lot of blank space recorded here. And uh, so there you go. That's all the sounds that I used. Like I said, of course, give me some blank ones here. We can get rid of those. Or, I mean, really, if you're, um, you know, if you've got, we have got six sounds here, you can just do external one through six and just route them that way. Um, I just did that for example purposes. Okay. Uh, the third way is to take your tracks and machine is MIDI notes and put that into Studio One. And use that. So this is for people who like to uh, manipulate your MIDI notes. Uh, so uh, the first thing we want to do to do that is uh, right click on the group and under group MIDI match setup. Uh, I think by default it sets the sounds to MIDI channels but you want to select sounds to MIDI notes. From there we want to go into the mixer and uh, for the group you want to turn on the MIDI in. And from here we're going to go uh, back here and so this one is your uh, export of MIDI loop so we're going to click and hold that uh, and just drag that into Studio One and now we've got the sounds as MIDI notes now what we want to do is explode those pitches to tracks so now I've got each individual sound in that drum kit on its own track now if I hit play now we're going to hear the MIDI and we're going to hear uh, the machine playing so uh, to make sure we're not hearing the machine playing I'm going to create just a blank uh, pattern okay and you can see if I click on these MIDI notes got each drum sound uh, so let's just play the drum loop real quick So you can see everything is separated uh, how you would want it to be if you were tracking it out. Um, now from here, like I said, we can add extra MIDI notes and um, edit that from here. Uh, but let's just say, for example purposes here, this is how I wanted uh, the drum track. Uh, from here, all I'd have to do now is just, I'll just select a few, uh, just for example here, Command B, and we can bounce the MIDI to audio. and this is what we've got and of course do that for each sound um, in your tracking machine alright uh, so there you go that's three ways three different ways to track out from machine into studio one um, to me the first way is the easiest uh, and then the second and third uh, but you know, everybody's workflow is different, so, you know, do whichever one uh, fits you. All right, I'll catch you all next time.